very little bronze work was done, but some was done just by melting down these old worn out bronze tools. There is an interesting story about the For uh, the Amis you mentioned on the east coast of Taiwan, there is a story that uh, from the eastern Luzon or in the Philippines somewhere, there was a group that went to the Marianas, to the Chumaro, to become the Chumaro culture. And then there's a legend from that culture that there was a group of people who voyaged west and landed in Taiwan, the east coast of Taiwan. And even there is a marker, a monument about these people arriving. And, and my understanding is that perhaps the Amis could have gone to the Marianas and then back through the Philippine Sea to the east coast of Taiwan. Okay, I have some different stories which are similar uh, and could have gotten mixed up. Uh, Father Jaime Neri uh, did research on these, uh, newspaper reports and so on. There was a large number of uh, uh, people from, from Guam or from Palau, I guess it was, that had been uh, at a major ceremony uh, in the Marianas in Yap, I think it was, got caught in a typhoon on their way home. And this would have been whole families, mothers, fathers, children, pigs, dogs, etc. Uh, and the typhoon uh, carried them over a matter of uh, quite a few weeks and they hit the uh, east coast of Samar. Uh, and uh, quite a number had died on the trip, but there were quite a number that came through. They uh, fixed up their boats uh, in about uh, four or five months. Uh, some of the women that were with them on the trip married local people in Samar, uh, and they headed off with their new boats against the currents, uh, got back to Palau, uh, in uh, just a, a little over a week, even though they were going against the currents. I mean, they were good navigators, they were good boat people. They took uh, some of the, uh, both women and, and men from Samar back with them to uh, uh, Palau or, or whichever <laughs> island it was, so that here was a mixture that sounds just like Taiwan. I'd never heard this to Taiwan. I just uh, heard, heard this story, and actually this was in uh, early uh, newspaper accounts uh, in in Spain and elsewhere. So this was attested to that uh, the people knew about uh, land both directions uh, and that uh, they weren't doing it regularly, but uh, when an accident like this happened, they knew what to do. Uh, and I, I just hadn't heard about this. Seems to me this sounds like just a variant of, of the tale for that from Samar rather than Taiwan. But uh, there's no reason they couldn't have gotten to Taiwan too. As soon as you get fairly close, you hit these currents that are going north uh, so that uh, s some of them could uh, easily go north as, as easily as getting on to Samar. And uh, have you had any uh, research related to the Bunun? This is Stephen Martin's uh, research subject. I've, I've seen it mentioned. I've, I've never uh, really concentrated much on the different ethnic groups with Sung, the uh, quite elderly Chinese uh, archaeologist who's worked, worked in Taiwan. He was trained by the Japanese and he can read and write and talk in Japanese. Uh, he, uh, the first time I was there, uh, I, I don't recall exactly when that was, 54 maybe. Uh, he took me all the way around the island, down, down the east coast and, and so on, before there were roads going down there. And it, it was a, a very interesting and exciting trip with him. Uh, Song Wing Chan. Yeah. 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 Uh, he, I guess he's still alive. Yes. Uh, it shows the value of uh, having a good stiff drink first thing in the morning uh, <laughs> to keep you alive because uh, 
he was certainly an, an alcoholic, and if he didn't have a drink by uh, eight, nine o'clock in the morning, he was getting in a bad mood, but as soon as he could get his drink away, then he was in good shape again. <laughs> He does that for his morning breakfast. <laughs> yeah. And he's over 80 now. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's older than I am. I, have, I don't recall how much, but I know that he's older than I am. I'm 81, approaching 82. So. Uh. In, uh, in Taiwan, it, it seems that the sites in the mountains, uh, although they're old sites, uh, these are in terms of the Neolithic, more recent settlements? Well, the, uh, certainly during this high level period of water, uh, a fair number or many of the people on the coast uh, had to move back into the mountains. Either that or take off on the water, and uh, this may have been a combination of things that uh, some of them chose to go back uh, with their enemies more or less in the interior, uh, with whom they were closely related anyhow, uh, and others chose to go out onto the islands that had been connected, but now were no longer connected. So that these things may very well have been happening at the same time with the involvement of the development of Austronesian uh, previous to the, the dating used by uh, Bellwood and so on of uh, around uh, 4000 BC more or less, plus or minus a thousand years. Uh, that was taking place just, uh, he held, had uh, just in Taiwan, it may have been taking place in, in a much wider area, but with very small number of people, so uh, it, it's uh, unusual to find these sites, they're accidental, most of them, when somebody digging a well or something like that, they come a, uh, across a site. Actually, for the world as a whole, uh, it's unusual to find an area that doesn't have archaeological sites. Those people were everywhere, but in very small numbers, so the chances of actually finding their sites are, are quite small. So now the sites uh, that are being found in uh, the Batanas are having a continuum going back uh, more than 4,000 years. Oh, they're, they're getting older dates. That's fine. Uh, 